What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Now before we get into the episode, there's just a few things I have to... Can you stop reclining, mate? Anyway, as I was saying, we've got a couple of things to really quickly touch on before we start the episode. The Western Sydney Pirates basically became a... Kind of like a pipeline for the Dreadnoughts to recruit brand new talent. The storylines let them blend in perfectly. Now, the only problem is I get this question a lot in how do the Dreadnoughts tie into the Western Sydney Pirates if... This is going on at that time, this is going on at that time. This is why I wanted to start something right now before Madden 18 Dreadnought drops. Now by the time the players in this dynasty develop and become seniors, they'll be going to the NFL, right? Perfect time to introduce them to the Madden 18 franchise and we can blend them together so it all goes in the same time, man. Now the Dreadnoughts will still stay around but they're not gonna be coming out every second day. You know, I'll drop an episode here and there. But for the South Compton Warlords, these guys are going to basically become the new Dreadnoughts in a sense, at least until the Madden 18 Dreadnoughts drop. This is going to feature storyline, everything like Madden 17 Dreadnoughts does. It's just going to be a way to develop players and kind of have a pipeline for the Madden 18 Dreadnoughts. After a five-year contract at Western Sydney, Perrin Crow has become one of the most premier coaches in college football history. He's led the Western Sydney Pirates to multiple championships, but with nothing else to prove with the Western Sydney Pirates, he wants to make a transition to another team, start to build them up. He gets contacted by a school in South Compton. The school says, we don't really have a lot to offer you, but you have everything to offer us. A lot of the kids that come here come from troubled homes. And kind of like the Gridiron Gang scenario, Perrin Crow is here, he's going to come into South Compton, and he's going to try and turn this franchise around, and try and make something of the school, man. Try and build these guys up, build up their confidence, so whether they go to the NFL or not, they're going to be able to get a good education at South Compton, and they're going to be able to go and do whatever they want in life. We're going to start off Perrin Crow level 20 only because with his five year stint at Western Sydney Pirates, he would have easily been able to get Insta commit, all that shit. Alright, so with all the bonuses we got, we are only one away from getting Insta Commit, so unfortunately we won't be able to activate that straight away, but we're pretty much where we should be. Alright man, <laughs> this is probably my favourite bit of the year, we're going to get into some recruiting, let's check out who's interested in actually coming to South Compton. Man, check out all these three star dudes that are actually wanting to come to us bro, this is great. No, you're definitely not coming, you're 59 overall. 4 to 8. Anthony Patterson, hey, just for the sake and shits and gigs of it, let's go ahead and chuck him on there. Ooh, we found our first gem, Cold Day. Went from a 69 to a 74. Even though he's not the best, he's got some good block shooting, etc. James Austin, okay, big boy, you coming to the squad? Okay, man, we found a lot of solid pieces, bro. Not many are going down right now. It's going down in South Compton. Another four plus, come on, let's keep going. Four plus, two plus, I'll take it, I'll take it. One plus. Come on. Four plus again. Let's go. Joey Barrow. Oh, fuck no. Fuck no, Joey Barrow. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the actual depth chart. The only two people that I edited in terms of stats was our quarterback, JC on Johnson. We're just going to call him JJ. With the cupcake team builder option, the running back is always an 80 overall. Every single other play on the team is like 70 highest, bro. But I did give our quarterback a little bit of a boost, man. He'll come into the storyline later, but he's a scrambling uh, freshman quarterback. He's going to lead our team alongside Darnell Carter, which means our defense is going to be complete trash, though. Free safety, we have Trey Kendrick. We have New Mexico, Army West Point, Texas A&M, North Carolina, Purdue. And then all the other ones are just conference games, man. Because we are in the Sunbelt Conference. I wanted to start us off in a pretty shitty conference so we can kind of build up. And hopefully we can get a bowl game and uh, go up to a uh, two-star school next year. Ooh, hoo -hoo, another gem. Fifty-two. How did you make it on here? Oh, shit. Get off. <laughs> Bro, just give up. Give up. So I'm going to go ahead and check the max on Cold Day, James Austin, and James Osborne. They're all solid pieces. Josh Hunter's definitely got to come to the squad. Anthony Patterson's the guy who ran that 4-2-8, yeah? I'm going to have to put him on here too. 
I'm not going to offer any of these guys scholarships yet. What I'm going to do is wait until we actually go up a level. And once we get insta commit, I'm going to start trying to recruit a couple of these guys. And just because I love you guys so much, I'm actually going to go ahead and play game one of our season, man. So if you guys are hyped for a brand new series on the channel, that will be the pipeline team to the Madden 18 Dreadnoughts. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Let's go for 200 thumbs up. Normally I just rock out with the stock standard uniform, but this is a special occasion, man. I'm going to come out with the maroon and the black, bro. And we're even going to go black shoes and black motherfucking socks. <laughs> Let's get it. It's just a lifestyle. Yeah, but I need it right now. Yeah, I need it right now. Profit, I'm going wild. And because Stanford is such a nice place, they actually allowed us to use their home stadium because unfortunately we don't have our own home stadium as you can see coach crow yes that's right he's got glasses this year oh Daniel carter man he started off by bumping out somebody oh man our receivers are fucking trash though bro good cash bro so keep in mind guys, starting next episode, storylines will take full effect in this series. I just had to introduce you guys before I can bring it in. I didn't want to complicate things too much. Are you f- bruh. Bruh. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, let's go! Hey, had a boy. I could block. Oh, let's. Oh! Alright, come on, JJ. The whole team's relying on you right now. We need you to step up, big boy. That's my bad. That's all on me. Come on, JJ. Make the tackle, JJ. Come on, JJ. At least you stopped him, bro. Bro, JJ's performance is smelling up the place, mate. I don't see, I don't know who to use on defense though. Come on! No! Just run it, run it JJ, run it JJ! Oh look! Woo -hoo -hoo. Let's go Vaughn! Bah. Oh, cut it in! Oh, 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 JJ! Oh, come on! We're gonna hit him with another one of these. Either my boy Carter or JJ is going to score this one. But JJ! Yes! There we go! No way, bro. No way. Man, that right side is deserted. And this is the perfect time to bring out the screenplay. Fuck it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ooh, mini Jean Pierre out here. Ah, the no hope squad right now, mate. Get there. Far out, dude. Come on, man. Are you are you are you serious? I uh, man, EA EA is pulling this shit from 2014 though. I just. Just carry him in the end zone. That's a good idea, dickhead. Oh, there we go. Come on! Ah! Alright, just because JJ has thrown three interceptions so far, doesn't mean we have to settle. Come on. This is why we got Carter. This is why we got Carter. This is why we got Carter. Last time I simulate the kickoff. I swear, I must have the worst luck with that shit ever, man. Every single time I simulate the kickoff, we always, always get scored on. <laughs> oh my god, he's wide open, bro. Let's go! Man, these kids can't get too demoralized, otherwise they're not going to want to play, man. He dropped it. Follow the blocks. Ah, 
boy, let's go! Oh. Wow, it's just like the dreadnoughts, man. Ah! Bruh! Oh, fumble! Yes! Let's go, bruh! Oh, no, 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 please, please don't rob us. No, he was down. He was down, man! Wow, why, refs? Why? So we are back to square one, mate. We do not have any targets out here. Oh, shit! JJ has definitely woken up in the second half, though. He threw three interceptions the first half. He's come out here and thrown a touchdown in the second half. And now we got Berg in. Who is Berg? And he throws dots, that's all I care about. JJ's got a broken finger, mate. Is this gonna... Oh, man. Is this Western Sydney all over again? We got Berg in here now. Big Berg. Big Berg. Big Berg. <laughs> I mean, as much as I love Big Berg. Big Berg. Big Berg the iceberg. As much as I love him in here, I still want JJ to be out of here, man. He needs those reps. Needs that experience, though. Blah. Come on, JJ. Hike it, you prick. That's fourth and five. Oh, we have no timeouts, though. Hold on a second. We have 36 seconds to go, but we have no timeouts. So I think this game is pretty much over. But, I mean, we're still going to give it a shot, though. Really? Ooh -hoo -hoo. Sorry, bruh. Alright, man, that was our first game just to introduce you guys to the stadium, the team, the uniforms, everything like that. The stats are kind of irrelevant in this game. As I said, it was just kind of to introduce you guys to the series. That being said, if you guys are down for our brand new NCAA 14 Cupcake Rebuilder, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Give us some support. These guys will be our pipeline team going into Madden 18. Hope you guys did enjoy this episode, man. I'll catch you back next time. I'm out. Peace.